Hey, we'll see what the heck is going on with this update. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the Poor Man Road to Glory. Today, we have good news. Uh, apparently, there's been a title update. So, normally, this would be my day off. I actually think yesterday's episode, I signed off saying we'll see you guys Friday for new content. But I decided uh, we're still going to keep going grinding today because it's Good Friday coming up and, and, um, uh, and Easter Sunday, Easter Monday. Uh, obviously my family celebrates all that stuff being that we're Catholic. So I'm probably going to be, uh, taking, uh, ending the stream a bit earlier on Friday. We're having my, my mom over for dinner Saturday. We're going to Steph's parents for dinner. So we'll probably end the, the stream and the recording early there. And, uh, Sunday, then we're going to my dad's side of the family, like the Lebanese side of the family for Easter Sunday and stuff. So this weekend's going to be a little bit shorter length stream so i thought I'd, I'd i'd stream through today but normally thursdays would be my day off not today though so and i guess it's good news because we've got a title update on fc24 it can be our final day to try and pack the canadian r9 so we still have a ton of packs ton of pps that we can craft to try and hopefully pack the canadian r9 so i'm excited about that and for those of you guys the very few of you that care Tarkov has their first event of this season or of this wipe. So we've got this like crazy, I think it's to celebrate the start of spring. So they did a big update. Snow is back in Tarkov. There's like bonfires, a bonfire uh, Creasy event or whatever. He's like a new boss type of thing. They introduced last Halloween. He's back again. You got to light three bonfires and then you get attacked by a whole bunch of crazy like guards and players and whatnot um, that have crazy good gear. And then he spawns and you can get stuff from him as well. So I'm excited about that later today. Hopefully me, Sneaky. I don't know. I think Hart might be working, but maybe me and Sneaky and we can find someone else um, to do the event with us. So that should be fun later today as well as hopefully maybe even getting Kappa later today in Tarkov. So a lot of things to get through. Can anyone explain to me what this is? Like, so title update. Latest title update is available. Includes an update for some kits. Thanks to those who provided and continue to provide feedback. So this was a four gig update to update kits. Ha <laughs> ha. Cool. Fun. <laughs> uh, amazing. Great. Well, let's get into it. Um, so we've got rival rewards. We've got, uh, as I mentioned, we're going to try and craft a million packs, open a million packs for uh, the Canadian R9. And I mean, Taijan Buchanan as well. Frank Young would be amazing to pack. And I'm as always, like the idiot that I am, I'm very excited for gameplay as well because um, I love using Somerville. Somerville is seriously uh, just such a fun card now with the five star, five star. So I'm excited about that. So I kind of didn't want this intro to be very long. So we're just going to get right into the grind. Uh, Joe dropped seven hey, gifted subs to start the day. Good morning, you beautiful batch. Haven't been around much due to getting things ready at the farm for plant 2024. Ooh, right. Of course. Cam, well, yeah, good to hear, bro. Corruption. Heck yeah, man. I'm going to need your advice soon. Um, Gulls, thank you for the four gifteds. Thank you, Gulls. Much love, man. After a long while, hope all is well with you and the family and 28 Thank you, RS. I appreciate the 11, man. And Mr. Sam, thank Amen. you for the 54 months, dude. Appreciate it. Old man, God, I need that Frankie, man. I need that Frankie. I need that Pirlo. I need that Pele. I'd, I'd like that Mudrick, not gonna lie. I'd like Perez. I need that Jonathan David. I need that Tajon Buchanan. Take my money. Take my money. Take my Why are they so hard to pack, Thank fam? God, you oh, jeez, Lord. Oh, my God. Chat typing cold every other five seconds. Hey, man, don't be mean to young Nick in his chat. They're, they're nice, dude. They're nice, guys. They're absolutely nice, guys. Oh, I thought we were starting with a walkout. That would have been sick. Cooked cold. <laughs> no, man, that's okay. That's that's kind of the that's what the young that's what the young kids uh, I I do now. I mean, I'm sure a lot of Zwei fans um, would say like, "Oh wait, I'm gonna go watch Nick 20T open bronze packs and be bad at the game and get mad, right?" 
everyone's going to have their criticisms of different content creators, no matter how cool that content creator's uh, viewership thinks they are. I'm sure you guys think I'm really cool and awesome and just the greatest guy, but I can guarantee you many people think I'm a big dumb moron, including a lot of people in the chat. So swings and roundabouts. Now, before we hit 6 p.m., let's get the 84 by fives. These are such bad packs, but <laughs> I forgot. No wonder I'm excited today. This is why I didn't take a day off. Ho ho! We got Wes! Oh my lord, I forgot about that beautiful Dutchman! Oh, I'm even more excited now, guys. I am even more excited. I kinda I, I kinda need to go play a game immediately, I feel like. I feel old, does that count? Nope. Nope. Um, also, my fault, I forgot to prepare peepees for today, but just know that we'll do a lot of peepees here. We might have to, uh, log out to get it done, but we will do a lot of peepees. You're our big dumb moron? Thanks, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for making me feel so good, Kappa. Hey, man. Hey, Nick. Much love. Much love. Oh, I am switching from ten dollars to Prime for some time. I feel you, bro. I'm moving, so you know, priorities. Absolutely, brother. I mean, dude, you're still giving me your Twitch Prime free sub. That means a lot, man. I got you, brother. Congrats on the move, man. We're trying to decide whether we, you know, put our place up for sale and and move somewhere that that um has. Uh, like the house and the property has more things that fit kind of what our family wants currently or do we just continue renoing the house and the property that we currently live in hey, can't eat me tomorrow so gotta beat it today boys oh goodness gracious yeah we're having uh my mom over for dinner and we're making salmon that's what we'll be doing i'm moving from the netherlands back to poland after 12 years ah interesting uh, business opportunities, bearded, or or what? And Sim, thank you for the 108 months, you cutie. Am I excited for Golazo? I mean, I don't know. I, I'm excited for uh, new good events. I just... And I think EA are actually doing a pretty good job with events, but I really, 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 really am concerned with how little they seem to care about the actual state Amen. of gameplay and servers. And 28 love and 28 love. Because again, I mean, no matter how good, and God, do we say this regularly, but no matter how good gameplay is, if the, sorry, no matter how good content is, if the gameplay is a pile of wank, which it has been for quite a while, not many people are going to care about this game, man. Not many people are going to care about the event if then they go into gameplay after packing one good player and it's just a, a mess, right? What was it, a family and business? Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. EA will see profit and thinks the game doesn't need changing. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. God, I'm too lazy to do this today, guys. I think I'm going to pass on this today. I kind of want to just yeet packs. Does that make me a bad person? I just want to yeet packs. I need that Johnny D. No way. No way. No way. I'm going to have horrible stomach cramps again, dude. No way. No way. Weird this year has been no free engagement rewards. Very disappointing. I would disagree, Brett. What do you mean? Free engagement rewards? Are you logging in every day and putting a bronze in for 81 Amen. by twos and 85 by five packs? And there's been a... I feel like I, I would disagree completely. I feel like there's been a million in free engagement packs. I meant like that pack in the store, the paid ones. I don't understand. I still uh, Once again, I still don't know what you mean. We we get we've we've had a bunch of free paid packs. The 15 coin ones? I mean again, if if that's what you consider good or bad about the game, then about getting like a, a 15 coin pack 
randomly here and there? I don't know, man. I think we have different expectations. The 15 and 30 coin packs? No, I know, but that, that's what I'm saying. I mean, if, if that's what you're very disappointed about, I, I just think we have, yeah, we have very, very different expectations from the game. That's all. Oh, yeah, you're allowed to like or or not like anything, right? Of course. But for me, that's the last thing I care about. Come on, man. Give me a Johnny D. Give me a Johnny D, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to remember to go with if I'm not getting a high rated player, I got to go with someone that fits into this uh so striker, center mid, center back, left back, right back type of thing. Put dupe 84s into PPs. I mean, honestly, C-boy, other than doing the IQ test 100 player pack SBC, there's not much else you can do with 84, so I would say yeah. I would say definitely uh go for it for sure. I wish they did those daily, especially on these events. Yeah, but I mean, you 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 still get infinite free packs just based off of what I'm showing you guys how to grind. I mean, I I am genuinely opening anywhere from 200 to 300 packs a day for free. Uh, what am I doing? I'm just recycling players. The only way I'm losing coins, we've now gone from a million coins down to 600k, but that's because I've done like three paid evos in the last three days. I think we are all out of touch. Genuinely, the last thing EA need to do ever in this game is give more free packs. That's maybe the only thing they do well right now, is give us infinite free packs. They need to fix the goddamn servers. They need to fix the glitches in the game. They need to fix people quitting at 0-0. They need to fix the delay now that they've added into the game with all the animations. They need to fix matchmaking. The fact that I can be 3-2 and two and get stream sniped by a guy that's 17-0. and oh, Like, stuff like that is diabolical. That, th th those are the things they need to fix. Them's be the things they gotta sort out. What's up, Sneaky? You ready for the event, dude? Tarky event's going ham today, bro. Oh, damn, bro. Dan Juma, but not the Canadian R9! To the exchange, boys. To the exchange. BPM is non existent on console because of how easy it is to grind. But once again, you don't need to do the BPM. Dude, the BPM on PC, it prints coins. I'm telling you right now. Um... The BPM prints coins on PC, thousands of coins per pack, potentially, and I, I still don't do it because it's just too easy to grind this game without the, without, um, the BPM. Instead of making a playable game, they just add more and more content. I don't need a promo every week if I can play the game. No, 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 but once again, Frankie, that's a bad way to think about it. We can, we can and we deserve both. We absolutely should get content every week. This is, they've spent 10, 15 years giving us daily updatable content. That, that doesn't, that's absolutely something that should never be taken away from us, uh, in my opinion. But it's insane that we don't get both. This game is a live service game. We should absolutely get live content Amen. every single day, every single Friday. Many thanks While at the same time, months. they also Let update the all the issues with the game daily and weekly. This game earns them billions. They should be able to constantly look to make the online gameplay experience better and better. To the exchange! Sorry. Imagine they let us vote on promos. Nope. Honestly, don't want that either. The community are a bunch of degenerate idiots. Uh, we are all, it seems like me and Brett are in very different worlds in terms of what we think is needed from the game. The last thing I want is the community to vote and any option that's there, they only go with the meta players. If an, if Mbappe's in there, bang, Mbappe gets voted. If Ronaldo's in there, boom, Ronaldo gets voted. Bro, hell no. Do you see the votes for anything the community ever picks? It's never anything original. It's always the dumbest choices. Disagree again. <laughs> 
<laughs> Disagree again. It's not your bad. It's I mean that's what you want from the game, and I just disagree with it. That's okay. Can't don't feel bad about how, you know me and you seeing differently. That's that's good. That's good. But yeah, I've just seen the community be dumb idiots far too much. To I repeat, it's not that I think community voted content can't be good. But we as a community have proven year after year after year that we're all just sweaty idiots. That only pick the most meta, broken, sweaty items. For God's sakes, even when EA put loans out with one game, if there's an Mbappe in there, people will just pick an, a, lo a loan Mbappe for one game instead of for voting for someone they want to be in the next promo. For one game! Uh, nah. Nah, 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 nah. We are, <laughs> we are too dumb. <laughs> we are too dumb as a community. Am I really getting down to only 83s left? That's kind of mad. Nice! Restack in the fodder. I don't even think I rinsed all my fodder from yesterday into the forex. I didn't rinse into the forex, and uh, I didn't do peepees. Seems to be much more efficient today on console. I don't know why. The one at a time grind doesn't seem to work that great though. You also missed my resub? Oh, sorry, Dan. Thank you very much again for the 29 months. Uh, and be ghouls for the 71 months and HMK for the 80 months. Sorry, sometimes when we have these discussions, I tend to try and get my point across um, and then I'll miss a sub here and there. Thank you, man. Same to you. Thank you for the continued support. Take my money! Take my money! Take my bank card! Nick unrelated to FIFA, but I'd if you saw MLB the show's new patch they dropped early today. It broke the game in the most hilarious way possible. Here's the pics of it. Wait, the uh, MLB... Is MLB known for their issues, Nick? In terms of glitches... Um, all that type of stuff? Or no? MLB has a lot of issues. I constantly hear from everyone that plays it that it's like the greatest game on earth, but... They do have their fair share, but so it's not as bad as FC24? Patch is broken. Players are three feet tall and have bobbleheads. So basically, Wesley Schneider. Which is funny, though. EA secretly fixed his head. Have you guys noticed that? Anybody that's used Wesley Schneider over the last five, six, seven months will, will notice that uh, he doesn't have a bobblehead anymore. His head isn't 19 sizes too big. I love it. Yeah, Jay. I, I, again, I've heard nothing but good things about MLB. Mainly their upgrade tra trajectory. But is there not a complaint with MLB about them giving too much... Uh, too many high-rated cards again? Take my money! Take my money! Take my bank card! Absolutely pumped today. Philly have a 14 years old in their academy cave in Sullivan. My son was talking about him. And he agreed to sign to them at 18. If City let him sign a contract with Philly till he's 18 so he can play with his older brother and so the club can actually get a fee for selling him since they can't just snag him for nothing now. Excited for the next four years for us. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, uh, Ethan was talking about him. Ethan? Kevin Sullivan is who you're talking about? Yeah. 
Yeah, Ethan was talking about about him. Not insane, man, at that age already to be picked up. Like that's such a nuts thing. There's a season system where you can only use like season one players. Oh. Okay, so then the question is, if you built up and have all these cool players, you're just, it's basically like EA's friendlies where they stop you from using those players? Hey, man. 19 months, let's go, Nick. Uh, thank you, Callum. Again, with with something like MLB, I, I, I think as always, we look at it and want to have the positives be applied to the game, right? Each season you can have saved five players from previous seasons. Interesting. So it actually sounds pretty complicated then. MLB does a lot better than FIFA as far as giving feedback on why you messed up something in gameplay. I generally know why I lose in MLB. Well, yeah, I mean, that could also be the way the game's coded, right? I think a lot of the time we know why we lose an ultimate team, but there's no way to stop it. You get me? It's like, okay, I know I have lost. I've conceded from this 17 bounce back BS thing. Like, what a ridiculous... And you just gotta, you just gotta continue on from there. Keep battling from there. The skill gap at top levels is pretty insane in MLB. Remember when Ultimate Team used to have that? When you'd watch pro events and, and genuinely be in awe? At, uh, at what the pros were doing? Like, I remember watching, you know, Kurt, even. I know him and I see definitely differently um, nowadays. But, uh, like, his his gameplay style was, was cracked. I mean, um, Tex's gameplay. I remember watching Tex and just be like, dude, I wish... I could do half of what this guy's doing in terms of skills in the box. Like, it was like I was watching someone play a different game entirely. Tass, yep, Tass was pretty great to watch. So many. A lot of these guys have just quit outright. What's up, RDG? How are you, brother? Forgot about Tass, what happened to him? I, a few years ago, he mentioned he was going a different direction. And, and you know what, man? W with me just trying to stay afloat myself and with all the things I have to worry about on a day-to-day, -day, I, I haven't kept up with many, 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 many content creators that have come and gone or are doing different things or... I can lock the door too, buddy. You have a jacket? Uh, You're not bringing a jacket with you. Sunny, no. It's freezing. It's okay, four degrees, it. Ethan. It doesn't matter that it's sunny, Baba. It's freezing outside. Just bring like a like a little sweater or something, at least while you're warming up. Anyone know what happened to R9 Rai? I think he just he just went to um like real life work. This game sucks so much and it's hard to uh make an income off of uh off of this game nowadays with the drop off in viewership that everyone has. So a lot of like OG content creators decide, well, you know, the effort and the stress and the rage that goes on with something like this, better for me to go back to the real world. It's very true for a lot of content creators, and it'll probably be very true for a lot more content creators over the next couple of years, man. Just like the gaming industry. I mean, if you look at the gaming industry and all the layoffs, the tech layoffs, uh, like the, the golden age, I think, of streaming and, and the gaming industry. Yeah, have fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. I'll lock it. I'll just keep it unlocked for you, buddy. Don't worry. Um, What the hell am I? What is going on here? Um, 
So that, that tends to happen a lot. Being, remember being like Ethan with jackets? Me too. Me too. I mean, as a teenager, dude, I, I would... You could, wouldn't catch me dead outside with a jacket on in the dead of winter. But just like any other dad, you, you gotta remind your kids to wear freaking jackets, dude. Because the worst part is when I used to do this as a teenager, and then I'd get violently sick. I don't know. Hey, man. Have I seen the hate Danny Aarons is getting because he moved on past FIFA? Um, I've seen a lot of people hating on a lot of different content creators. I mean, I, I don't... I, I, I hope that Danny Aarons doesn't care about any hate he gets, man. Because you can be the patron saint, the nicest human being on earth, and the TikTok trends and all these losers trying to get clickbait and or bringing up stuff that someone did 10 years ago just to get them hate so they can get a bit more views. It's inevitable, man. So I hope Danny Aarons is just happy and he's enjoying his life. And if he's moved on from FIFA and he's killing it still with content and good for him, man. Good for him. I mean, FIFA's dead anyways, so I don't blame him. And if he's having fun and he's doing IRL stuff and shifting away, then fair play to him, man. Fair freaking play to him. He wants to be known as a YouTuber, not a FIFA content creator, and fair play to him. Fair play to him. If he wants to make that shift and 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 do that, what what's what's wrong about that? Want to see you and Doc playing golf? Hell yeah! I'd absolutely happily uh, uh, sip a gin and tonic with him for sure. It's my favorite drink. Just so happen to be uh, so happens to be the Docs as well. Okay, I think we're coming to the end of uh, what we have in the club, right? I mean, he can't be doing that bad. A few weeks ago, he's playing in a charity match. What do you mean he's doing bad, Fat George? Who said Danny Aarons is doing bad? I don't know where I don't know where you got that from. I think. Danny Aarons and, and those guys and Angry Ginge and stuff are doing better than anyone else. Uh, I don't know who told you he's doing bad. I, th I think he's doing awesome. Yeah, I haven't had a gin and tonic in ages. Ages and ages. I'm going to try and cut out milk again, boys. Uh... For the next couple of months i i'm still just violently ill all the time and i do have lactose free milk but i'm wondering if just dairy in general fucks me up man i wonder i don't know if that's part of crohn's or, or what even if you have lactose free um dairy but honestly man it just i feel i think it messes me up i really do so that's the next thing i'm gonna do like a uh limitation I mean, with all the hate from moving on from FIFA? I think they're just two different topics. I mean, from all the hate he's getting from moving on from FIFA? I think I think the hate he's getting is probably the same hate that I got when I quit FIFA three years ago to do Tarkov full-time, right? People just want you to do one thing. But if that one thing starts failing and you do something else, people then hate that you're not doing that one thing. But if you do that one thing and the game Amen. sucks and you complain about it, well, you're a fraud and you should quit that thing. So, as always, the community just bitches and moans, no matter what. to tune in with Ramadan and Eid coming up, but wishing you and the fam the best of health. Hey, much love, man. Much love, Shani. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the continued support. Um, much love to you, brother. Hopefully, families going good and everything is uh is treating you well people expect your life to stay the same forever but the thing is is if you do play the same games but critique it it's shut up dude quit the game if you don't like it you quit the game do something else look at you you've changed oh my god your views are so low you suck it's like people this is what i mean i hope danny aarons doesn't give a crap about what people say about him online as long as he's true to himself he's happy 
he's doing things he enjoys, which clearly looks like he is doing things he enjoys thoroughly, then amazing. That's fantastic. That's all that matters. People are calling him egotistical because he's changing, getting a girl and getting tattoos. Who, like, where are you guys getting this from? Who's calling someone egotistical? Isn't Danny Ernst still a child? Are people not meant to grow and change and, and mature and get a girl? And if they want to get tattoos or get better clothes, like, again, do people want content creators to just stay the same exact person for 15 years? Like, I don't. What is wrong with that? How is that a bad thing? It's so odd. The FIFA community are fucking weird, man. Sorry to say, I know I'm part of it, but the, the, the audience is a very odd bunch at times. I mean, you can see by their Reddit posts, you can see by their behaviors online where they quit at a draw or run and celebrate like a bunch of weirdos. Like the FIFA community, I know me, I know you, we're part of it, but the it feels like the larger majority yeah. of the FIFA community are some of the biggest weirdos ever. I, I don't know, man. You just see it consistently. Super odd. Bacon, thank you for the 56 months. I'd like to think we're a small part of the community that are still normal. Anyways, Bacon, thank you again, brother. I appreciate you, man. Anyways, all, all I'll say on that subject is good for Danny Aarons, man. If he's enjoying life and, and changing and getting some cool tattoos and growing as a person and being more confident with himself. I love depending on the person. Confidence and change and whatever is, is called exactly that, confidence. But then... You know, depending on the narrative, it can be called egotistical or vain or... Again, people are just dumb. People are just dumb. They just pick and choose what they want to label someone as depending on who that, depending on who that person is. Not dependent on their actions at all. Bunch of sad cases. Archer, I genuinely want to completely remove myself from social media, brother. I just want to be able to stream to you guys, um, have X open with people I'm following, so that way I just get the updates on F1 and on on Warzone and on um, you know football and and Tarkov, not Warzone, but you know what I'm saying, the gaming industry, and and just be that, and that's it. I think that'd be a very happy life. Not be too worried about anything. Anyways, Joaquin, what's up, man? Welcome to the YouTube Live. Lewis, JTFC, Shane, Oliver, what's up, boys? Over on the YouTube side of the world. Let's get these 84 by 5s Come on. Jonathan David's coming up. I can feel it. People are jealous. That's the truth. I agree, God Particle. I agree. I do think people are just jealous. But it's just... It's sad, man. It's sad. Like, that jealousy gets you... No, I can't do anything with these, right? I've, I've rinsed everything. These 84s, unless I do PPs. You know what? Again, didn't we say we're not we're not discarding 84s, right? We kind of made that rule yesterday just to see how how much of a grind we can do. So let's just go do a PP real quick. Yeah, let's do this. It's a bit silly to discard the 84s. Actually, I kind of want to see what high to low to high does. Oh my god. Okay, well. <laughs> it's going to be an 83 rated squad, I guess. Does 
decided to know that Anka or Hero PP and got bomb past door. Nice. Oh, I'm so happy we do that grind, man. I'm so happy. I can't believe I got Schneidzy. I can't believe I got Schneidzy. I, I want to play a couple games, man. What's wrong with me? You know what? Before we eat all of these bigger packs, let's go play a couple games. We've qualified for champs, right? Or no? Do I still need one or two games? So let's just claim our dead rewards. Actually, those rewards are kind of nuts. What in the hell? <laughs> this is for Division 6? Fantastic. Oh, Division 5. Damn. And we got one more game. Uh, honestly, I, 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 I'm happy to just throw this game. But yeah, remember we built this team hey, yesterday? Where's Schneider? Just bought some new toilet paper. It had a Leeds badge on it, Kappa Kappa. You watch your damn mouth, Custard Guts. You watch your damn mouth. Okay. I just need a Canadian R9 at Striker instead of Cristiano, and this is the dream team of all dream teams, boys. Or Cruyff. Canadian R9 or Cruyff instead of Cristiano Ronaldo, and I honestly think I have the most Nick 2018 squad ever. Maybe, um, maybe Virgil van Dijk instead of Company, too. Then I legit have the most Nick 2018 squad you could ever have. Let's go with the away kit. All right. I mean, we're at a pretty damn high elo, so I expect psycho gameplay behavior here. Welcome, everyone, on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray. What do you got, bro? What do you got? Board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And what we have coming up for you is the final... Okay, dude, the this guy's got a cooler team than I have. Look at that Frankie. Please play good football, man. Don't be a little sweat lord, please. With a cool team like that, please don't just be a loser. Oh, I knew he was a nice guy. Oh, it's Sim. <laughs> For God's sake. Oh, I knew it. it knew, I knew it had to be someone I knew. For God's sake. Oh, wait, what's your record, Sim? You must be at a super high elo too, yeah? GG's, man. I'd love to know what your record is. All right, well. Some more. Man, playoff rewards are kind of behind the power curve. Wait, you're four and two, yet you loaded up against me at eight and one. Huh? How does that work? I'm four and three now. But well, hold on, how did you load up against me then? It's the stupidest matchmaking ever, dude. What? Um. Also, I got to uh, put Zeek on and then we sub him off. Let's do that. Uh... I did? You did it! M28 Hut Dino Dance. Those are all the latest pack pulls, hey, right? Hey, Nick, hope all is well. Red hair, I love you, brother. Above the amazing streams. How are you liking UCL Wesley? I yeah. packed him as well and quite like him. Uh, I used him on the main account for a month and I loved him. He's still a little bit clunky. Take my money. Take my money, take I my think money. I, I think I might miss my red one though. Yeah. This isn't matchmaking, it's mismatchmaking. God, Nep's quotes are so good. Mikey, thank you for the 22, man. Appreciate you. Um like I said, yeah. Wesley Wesley is good. I just think I've been spoiled now with the Tiki Taka Playstyle Plus that the uh my red 90 Wesley has. So um I just I don't know I I don't know I I'm really hoping the five star five star comes comes up big. Imagine having UCL Schneid's central cam and Johan Croy for the Canadian R9 at striker, bro. Come on, how cracked would that be? Just ever I mean right now Schneider five star five star Somerville five star five star Ronaldo five star five star. The only problem is our left wing, which is usually um, Ruter, is four star five star. If we can get this eighty eight Ruter to five star five star, we're zooming, boys. We're zooming. 
Or if I, if I imagine I was lucky enough to get Leo Messi's fuck birthday for left wing, five star, five star as well, high low work rates. Damn it! I hate that I couldn't pack him, man. I would give up almost everyone that isn't in the starting 11 right now for that fuck birthday Messi. Everyone. Team of the Year, Sam Kerr. Team of the Year, Oberdorf. Okay, maybe not Ruter. I'd give up Ginola. Okay, not Archie Gray. I'd give up everything, man. Now that's what I call an eruption. Let's go, baby. Thank you for the five gifted red hair. Where you been, by the way, bro? We haven't seen you in the chat. Being your usual diabolical, beautiful self. Thank you for the five gifted, you beautiful man. That's going to be a four bar connection. Oh, wow. Okay. Never mind. Can confirm birthday many is insane. I mean, no, I'm not shocked by that, Chris. He looks like the best DM and maybe the best center back as well. Hello and welcome, and here we are just off the M Egg Fried Mono Royce. Oh, this guy's from Seattle. Gross. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside Oh, so it's just gonna be pure analysis, sweat. What is that team, fam? We have a foot rivals match coming up for you. It's the old boys, and they take on the nutmegs. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Hey, man. Can we see your tactics, Nick? Smile, sorry, Our if you've showed it before. Huh. Huh. Um... There are the tactics, brother. Possession, uh, 60 depth in the attack. Might even do 70 depth in the attack. Um, yeah, that's it. Pretty basic. Nothing crazy. Nick playing Rivals, are you new here? Dude, I'm playing so much more gameplay nowadays that Rivals is the only thing I have left. I don't have anything else to play. And there's the delivery. What a... F he didn't even let it go out of bounds. Really fine goalkeeping. That's a red card, by the way. Hullet just got two-footed from behind. Outside of the play. Van Nistelrooy. On to David. Possession lost by the nutmegs. I'm so jealous of this guy's David, man. I love gameplay, man. You make a pass and it just triple bounces off your player. In particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always... I love making tackles that just deflects to his player for a tap. And God, this game is so fun, man. It's just such a rewarding experience. Alfonso Davies. They're racing away here. Ronaldo. They can level it. And the challenge crisp and clean. Now the nutmegs might be able to profit. A disappointing end to the move. Hey Amen. Happy 34 months, my dude, and 28 hearts. What the hell was that hard. pass, Chris? Huh. Of, of course, lovely interception that just phases through my player anyways for another attack. Believe this game will show you it's worth wanting to pack David. I mean, I'm aware it's David's good. Um, I don't need to watch him score deflected tap-in to know that. Wesley Snyder. What a ball. Here's Ronaldo. And again. Return to Snyder. Could play it in. What? Nicely timed tackle. Look at this press. Look at that press, man. It's freaking goddamn uh, Sergio Ramos just fully AI controlled. A tremendous vision. Clear to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be. Well, his throw in radar was a bit off. <laughs> 
I am just so over this game, bro. What is happening? Jonathan David. Oh, big opportunity. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Good looking move. Do I have a back line? Like, what is going on right now? Snyder. Alistair Johnston. Great effort to keep that one in play. Rutter. Well read to put an end to that attack. <clears throat> Sonia Bonpastor. Distributing it well. From Mr. Roy. It's gone in. I'm seeing a lot of slander in Canadian PM. Can you explain? No, I can't. I don't know anything about it. I'm not update updated enough on um on that type of stuff to even be able to make commentary on it, brother. It's just uh it's not worth. I just played you. Nice Campbell. GG's man. Was really fun. Great game, dude. Were you ever good at FIFA? Nope. I was always terrible, uh, Kieran. I was always bad, dude. I've never been good. Always been absolutely shite. People try and tell me this game isn't dead. Look at how long it takes to find a game. He's good at doing your dad. Oh my. Oh my word. Holy guacamole. Wait, they've charged Tonali with more offenses? So he's being 
recharged. That's wild. So he's been banned in banned by his betting offenses in Italy for 10 months, and they're charging him even more because of more betting offenses now here? Dude, AC Milan absolutely cooked Newcastle with that transfer. Dear God. I'd be surprised if Newcastle didn't try and maybe like um sue or something i mean they're wow these teams i'm matching right now are insane it's the spicy boys and they take on the old boys well derek when looking forward to this game you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch particularly in those central areas whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game referees are rightly praised Paul Merson compared player betting to player drinking, except drinkers get support, the bettors get fined. The difference is he's very much ignoring basic logic because he also has a gambling addiction. Addiction needs help, 100%. There's no doubt about that, right? So whether you have a betting addiction or a drinking addiction or a drug addiction or a food eating addiction, addictions need help. There's no denying that, right? So these players that um, have gambling addictions definitely need help. The problem is he also is betting in matches that he has insider information on. So that's taking it to another level, brother. That's not just an addiction that causes you harm. It's it's an addiction maybe, sure, but that you are trying to make insane profit off of. And that's ridiculous. So again, it's not that addicts don't shouldn't receive. What the hell is that pass? You realize that addicts hide their addictions? Milan probably didn't even know. Brother, you live in a very um, safe, non-judgmental world, and I respect you, brother. If you think an established club like Milan didn't have an idea in at least some micro way what was going on over time... I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, brother. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. I don't even know what just happened there. So a throw in here. Foul again. No call. Snyder. And they need to get tighter here. And a decent delivery. Cleared away. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. <laughs> oh, is that not a foul? What is this gameplay? Oh my god. Ronaldo. With this current patch, Ronaldo's touch is worse than most bronzes I've seen. This new, like, animations patch, man, has just made Ronaldo so dumb. Oh, Ronaldo just missed a bloody open net. Amazing. Okay. My guy's doing skills in the box and phasing through tackles. Fantastic. I like that this guy's at least, like, chilling, doing some skills here and there. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. I mean, Ronaldo, pre-patch, you could drive the ball at him, and he'd kill the ball dead and move so well. Now you pass a, a simple slow pass from Ronaldo and he takes about eight minutes to settle the pass. This is so fucking awful to play, man. What is this? It takes me 15 tackle attempts to get the ball back. Aurelien. 
Adrian Chouameni. Fine run from Mbappe. Nice. My whole team just stands around like a bunch of pricks. Good piece of closing down. Given away by the old I'm gonna fucking scream, man. I'm genuinely gonna fucking scream. Pele. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Like I am. Where are my passing options? Skipping away. Look at I have no options anywhere. But I'm being pressed by four players the second he concedes possession. What the fuck is this game? Regained by the spicy boys. Ronaldo. I can't, man. I can't be bothered. Eusebio. And on to Pele. And passing it well. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Ronaldo. Now the old boy is looking dangerous here. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. And there it is. 1-0. <clears throat> the efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Oh my god, the touches. Kone. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. I made a mistake there. Kimi. Ronaldo. Oh, it might be. Oh. What is he on? 97 finishing. Can't put that in the net. Come on. Can't even hit the target. And intercepted it. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Virgil van Dijk with the block. And defensive what? play to be applauded. Snyder! And a goal Wesley is cracked. Wesley is cracked. Ronaldo's terrible. Dude, Ronaldo. What what is it? What does the name what does that name mean? What the hell? I'm sure that has some weird name. Uh, name That guy's squad name is so odd. Sorry for raging, but my god, man. Since this newest patch, this game is so hard to enjoy. Everything is so labored. Every touch, every move, every pass is so difficult and just horrible, man. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Like, Ronaldo plays like he's a seven-foot-tall goal bronze goalkeeper up top now. That That's how he plays, guys. I don't know if it means I just got to get more used to um, playing without... How do I even put it? Like playing without the sprint button even more? But then how do you... You beat a player, right? The most frustrating part about this experience is... Oh, my game froze. Amazing. Oh, we're back. Okay, so we'll put... Um, what's his name in the team too? The assists I'll get in squad battles. All right, so he's done. Uh, it's in Ser he's in Serie B, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Apologies. Let's get uh, let's get back on the grind. Wesley cooks because he's tiny. I might have to put Sam Kerr on and like Leo Messi on for Ronaldo and Georgie. Man, they're too clunky. In this current gameplay, they're too clunky. They're impossible to use.
I mean, realistically, I should probably just go craft Haji for the squad. That is genuinely what I should be doing, but... I'm too addicted to packs. How many squads do I have left for Haji? All of them? Every single one. All of them. Bruno Fowling is my favorite bet to ladder, along with Man United Corners. Andy, I don't think a lot of people would like my, uh, my, my take on this. I genuinely think betting is the shittest thing on earth. I've never done it. None of my family does it. Betting in Canada isn't really a big deal, or at least in Western Canada is not a big deal. It's not something I've ever, um, been interested or, or seen many people be interested in. But I honestly think betting in the modern era is the dumbest thing ever. It's as idiotic in my eyes as like dog fighting. Like to me, it, it, it's as archaic and old school and shit as dog fighting uh, and, and dumb things that we used to do as a population back in the day that we've kind of gotten, gotten over. I think betting is one of those things as well. Wild comparison, I, that's like I said, it's my point. And I know a lot of Brits that have their whole life around uh, betting and have grown up around it would heavily disagree, but I think it's trash. Easy, easy top three. Easy top three. If I'm not... 16! Good morning, sexy Nick 28 and 28 yummy and 28 yummy. Much love, B4. Much love, brother. God bless. I really do, man. I mean, oddly enough, if there's a way for me to move away from the semi-dumb betting that you do even just opening packs, I, I would I would be happy about it too. But the whole fundamentals of this game are built around packs. But I think packs and the lottery system in packs like this are just as idiotic too. Costanza, Americans are screwed with all the gambling addiction that has come with sports betting. Like I said, I have never participated in it. Um, the only time I've ever bet is when me and Steph were in uh, Vegas for a, um, like a, not a honeymoon, but like a pre-honeymoon before we went to our honeymoon. And I put like $100 on, um, on a, a whatever, roulette table, Happy lost it in three seconds. I'm like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, I just, I just think it's trash. Hey, man. Uh, Idri Borelli, thank you guys, man. Appreciate you. Wow, an 85 by 2 given 285s. Another 85 by 2. Oh my god. No way. I cannot believe. No, I mean, I'm well aware of people that don't have addictive tendencies always say, Oh, just bet what you're, not will what you're willing to lose, dude. And that's fine. But the problem is betting pulls at people's addictions. And... That's like someone that doesn't have an alcohol, like an alcohol addiction saying, dude, I don't understand how you could ruin your life drinking. Just have like one or two drinks with your friends. It's the same idea. It's such an odd 
um, an odd thing. And I find really betting in so many ways can cause so many more addictions than even alcohol addiction. Um, I just think it's it's a, it's an absolute mess. I really do, man. But again, it's just my opinion. I mean, obviously, it means nothing to anyone else. I'm just voicing my opinion on my own channel. If I win my bet tonight, I win 2.3k. I don't. I just... I don't know. I, I understand for people it makes watching certain sports more enjoyable because obviously they're vested, they're more vested in the results. I don't know. I just, yeah, I just think it's gross and nobody talks about it. As long as you do it under control. I know you think I'm stupid, but I've been addicted to betting. Chasing losses and big wins and wasting money. Now I keep everything under control to have some fun. I just... I Andy, again, I don't know how you could have had an addiction, but still participate in that addiction, but have it under control. I I, I don't know. And, and again, fair play if you're able to do that. I respect it. I just can't understand people working hard for their money and then being willing to basically understand that they're losing a lot of it for no reason at all. Now, don't get me wrong. I am on the far side of being too safe. I am well aware of that. It takes me forever to make a financial decision about anything. About anything. You guys know, like, the, the Porsches that I've wanted to buy, I've waited so long that all the Porsches I've wanted to buy, because I'm trying to wait for the right car or the right price, have Amen. all quintupled in price. So don't, don't come to me for, like, being the person that makes the right financial decisions all the time. I'm on the other side of it. I take so long to make financial decisions that I'm always on the losing end um, of investments, of watch investments, car investments, all that stuff. Uh, Jake, thank you very much, man. Uh, appreciate the gifted. You're a legend, brother. Road to Divorce, thank you for the 21 months with Prime. Jonas, thank you for the brand new sub. You're a legend, bro. Idri, thank you. Man, my pack weight is ass today. I can't get anything, man. What is this? I'm discarding it. You guys didn't see nothing. No way it's all 84s in an 84 by 5. That can't be possible. Hey, man. Take my money. Take my money. Take my bank card. I know this might not be a popular opinion, but in similar lines to betting, I hate stock trading and putting my hard-earned money on stocks. I, I mean, I understand that. I, I think that the, the problem is with stocks betting um, is different than investing as well in stocks. There's two different worlds. Um, because you can put your money into ownership of a company, a blue chip chip company that you believe in. Let's say that's Tesla, or let's say that's Microsoft, or let's say that's Amazon, or whatever it is. And you basically feel like and legitimately ha own a piece of ownership of that. And it's the company's success then means your success. Um, so I disagree. S&P 500 for the win. Exactly. Exactly. But again, to the extremes, it can be taken into day trading, penny stocks trading, and yeah, that's gambling, sure. But I, I don't know that it's a very fully comparable thing saying betting, um, let's say on sports or fights or whatever, is the same as buying stocks. In some ways it can be, depending on what you're buying, but in many ways it's not, though. 
Yeah, options trading is nuts. Exactly. Oh, nice. Okay. Informs W. Yeah, Craig, I agree with you on that, brother. I agree with you. Oh. Should we open the Encore, the final Encore Icon Pack at 6 p.m. content today, guys? Because there's going to be no content anyways. Let's do that today. Let's do that today. I still have one? I mean, they just get, they get infinitely pushed behind all the Forex packs. That's the first time I've seen that in, in like, probably five days. Oh my god, imagine we get a team of the year Chavi. Whew. That'd be nice. That'd be so nice. Primer. Yeah, how you feeling, Emil? You doing okay, bro? Uh, I wanted to say on this lovely Friday, but on this lovely uh, Thursday. I hope so, Shelton, yeah. I don't have a card to build or I don't have a car to build or drive, but I, I hope at some point, yeah. Good for you, Emil. That sounds amazing. I used to do that with car parts, man. That was one of my side hustles when I was in uh late high school and college. Buying rare European car parts and selling them in North America for sometimes 20 times the increase in price. Back then though, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, it was a lot harder to get parts shipped stateside. You need to have like inns at shipping companies. And I used to know a couple of guys in the military that um, had like much That's cheaper shipping out right. of their bases in the military back to Canada. So it was a very, very lucrative business for me. It was very good. Put me all through college. <sighs> it was awesome. Much love, Andrea. Much love, man. Uh, Shelton, thank you again for the gifted, brother. Appreciate you. Tarkov Grind is sick, by the way, Emil. Like, they've got a huge event today, so I'm excited about it. Very excited about it. I'm, uh, I'm hoping I can get some good ammo and maybe those face masks. Those really rare face masks. I have tomorrow off, so I'll be watching. Hell yeah. I think Sneaky is down to do the boss hunting with me, the uh, the new event. I don't know, I think Heart might be busy though. I think that probably the best time to do it is at night. Seems like that's the best time. Tradable. No way! Please, Jonathan David, no! Oh my days! I thought we hit him, boys! Oh no! I'm so disappointed! Not that tradable would have mattered, I never would have sold him. Oh my god, bro. Ay, ay, ay. So far, bro. So far. Dear God. 
I'm just going to put them into the Forex, really. He's only 13k. Thanks, man. Thank you for letting me know. That improved my life so much. Kappa, Kappa, Kappa! Hey, man. Hi, daddy. Who's gonna win the frame? Aston Villa. What is the EAFC update about? Uh, it's four. It's a four gig update for kits. Kits. But don't worry. Gameplay is even more RNG and diabolical today than it's ever been. So they've definitely not changed anything. I'm sure it's all in our head. Hey, man. Hi, Nick. Hope you and family are all good. And do you think Leeds will win the championship? Deco, thank you for the 20. Do I think we'll win the championship? No. Do I want? Do I hope? Do I dream? Do I do I want to even believe and trust that we will? Sure, but I don't think we will. Nice. Yeah, but OC Min now has a mask. He had a mask before today's update. Well, we packed him yesterday. Uh, he already had a mask. He does look super cool, actually. I'm not, again, I'm not hating on that. I love that they're doing kit updates and player face updates. I actually think that's great. But I mean, brothers, if you can do that stuff, you can try and work on the gameplay and make it better. Like, wh what is happening? Why are they, why are, like, why are they so weird about everything? Uh, I think we're all caught up, right? I hope I didn't miss anybody's subs. Jake gifting the sub. Shelton gifting a sub. I think, I think I've caught. B4 with the beautiful bits. Yeah, no, I think I've caught, I've caught everyone. I hope. Have they added Suarez yet? I don't believe so. I don't have to go play a game, right, guys? I will. Let's open a 51 player pack and then we'll go play a game. Wow, two dupes? That's it. It's kind of nuts. I'll do one more. Okay. Kind of a pretty big L there. Okay, one more. We've added another 150 players into the club just like that. I could probably craft another 50 PPs if I wanted to. Maybe we should. For 6 p.m. content. Do we go play gameplay or do we craft PPs for 6 p.m. content? What's the move? What is the move? That's painful to discard all of them. I'm not gonna do it. Thanks for the sub! Maestro! Thank you for the sub, brother. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, Habibi.
Wait, who who did I not remember to? Oh no, I just got rid of an 85. Damn it! Jacko yapping my ears off. I just I just yeeted an 85. Oh, how did I do that, bro? You know what? Let me get this out of the way as well. Could have used the 85 here, man. Hundred percent Jacko's fault, not my fault at all. It's speculation. Uh look at all these 84s that I will never have anywhere to put because EA are stupidos. Jacko deserves a spanking. Well, we can arrange that. I'm sure Gio would be happy to participate. Hey, man. Even Clive quit this dog game and gonna stick around. Hoping for a better FC25. Keep up what we're doing. The viewer count is cause the game is dead AF. Love you, brother. PS looking forward for the Leeds career mode. Is it on? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, Trellman. We'll have to see you, brother. Thank you so much, though, dude. I appreciate the, uh, the, the 42 months. I appreciate that you're sticking around and supporting. I mean, I'm not worried about the, the viewer numbers. Genuinely, I appreciate who's here. The sub numbers are obviously something I have to pay more attention to because, I mean, if the subs drop to a certain number, I'll probably have to uh consider other financial options right but for now we are uh we're vibing man we're vibing and enjoying ourselves and uh i'm grateful for it have i decided what rtg i'm doing next fifa poor man road to glory uh part of me is dabbling with the idea of doing like a leads only evo rtg but with the way ea are super weird uh i don't know man I do not know. Um, boys, one sec. I think Steph might be home from Costco. I know we're recording, but I'm just going to see if they need help carrying some stuff. Hold on. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys.
Aw, it's hoping we get something crazy there. Oh well. Um. All right, we'll do PPs for a little bit, boys. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to get a game uh, and then be ready for 6 p.m. content again. So what we'll do is we'll just rip PPs, clear the club out, and then we'll be ready for 6 p.m. And then we'll, we've got that Encore Icon pack as well. Plenty of stuff ready to roll. Come on, man. We need to see a Jonathan David. We need to. We deserve it, guys. We probably... Well, I probably don't deserve it. My pack luck has been crazy. I got a freaking Wesley Schneider yesterday. And I'm talking about deserving to pack something. Honestly, man, I'd be okay to not pack anything for a while. Hey, man. How would I grind if I'm trying to craft a player like Ribery? Um, I'd probably put like 86 to 88s into the Forex, or maybe 88s and 89s into the Forex, and everything else into Ribery. So 90s, 91s, stuff like that. Obviously go into Ribery. 85s and 86s into Ribery as well. But I think 88s and 89s I'd put into the Forex because you just get so many players back. Right? And you open those packs, you do more peepees, and that, that should be a system that probably works. It's just going to be slow. Because obviously it's not super common to pack uh, 90s and 91s. But you definitely want to keep the Forex grind going. I think I need to do the start from scratch. Easier. Easier to get through everything. And that inform Rodrigo looks good, huh? Uh, I was doing League SPCs a little bit here and there, Nahi, but you just, they're just completely unnecessary. Totally, totally unnecessary. Barn have made Deserbi their second choice. I haven't seen that. I mean, it's a good call. Brighton are in a bit of a weird spot right now, aren't they, though, in terms of performances? I mean, what he's done in the football they play is obviously still, obviously still super attractive, but... I'm surprised. I don't know if it was real. I, I saw something that someone claimed. Alonzo said he'd rather go to Bayern than Liverpool as a manager. I don't know. I, I, that's got to be fake, though. Has to be. Has to be fake. Militao from the exchange pack? GG. I have really enjoyed using him. I haven't used him in a while just because I've got so many new players to, to run. Watch him do a U-turn and stay at Leverkusen. I mean, it's not going to hurt him to stay at Leverkusen. Either way, I, I, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't blame whatever choice he made, honestly. Honestly, I'm just going to eat these because I'm so annoyed at looking at their faces. And then it takes me right back here, which is so much better. We can open we can open um picks so much more so much so much quicker. 
I lied. Alfonso Davies seems like he might leave Byron. Yeah, I was reading this morning that his agent is kind of upset with Byron because they spent like a year ready to sign a new deal with Byron nine months ago. And then they basically changed their entire top boardroom staff at Byron and they were radio silent. They just didn't respond to Alfonso Davies and his agent for like seven, eight months. And then all of a sudden now they've responded to Alfonso Davies saying, you have two weeks to reply about settling and agreeing our contract with you. And him and his agent are like, what the hell? Like you guys are just silent for eight months, not talking to us. And now you want us to answer within a week or two? It's so I don't know. And then I was reading up like apparently Byron do that to a lot of their high profile players that they kind of just want to get rid of anyways. So apparently they did that with Lewandowski. They they they're looking to try and do that with Alfonso Davies to get big money out of him and but make make themselves look kind of innocent if you will. Well, that's what uh, Davies and his uh his manager or whatever we're saying like why are we going to renew we don't even know what players they're looking to buy in the summer we don't even know who the manager is going to be like wait so alfonso davies is being um uh thrown under the bus because he wants to know what byron's competitive plans are for the next year or two i'd love to see alfonso go to real personally i'd love to see that First ever Canadian uh, Galactico, right? I mean, unless... Wait, did Owen Hargraves play at uh, Real? No, he played at Bayern, right? I mean, he's a fraud, though. He's Canadian, but chose to play for Eng England, the fraud. But, um... I don't know if Hargraves ever played for... Uh, for Real Madrid. Sick of Madrid creating super teams? What about Chelsea spending $3 billion trying to create a super team and sucking? What about PSG spending a trillion dollars making a super team and doing nothing with it? What about Man United spending hundreds of billions on players? You know, just because Real are good at it, I think is insane for football fans to say they're sick of Real making super teams. So many teams try to replicate what Real do and fail miserably. Like, at least it seems to be whenever Real set out to build a super team, they actually do, and the results back themselves. Nice. All right, to the exchange again, boys. How much did they end up paying for Endrick? Not crazy amount, right? Was it like 20 or 30 million max? Or was it more than that? Bro, I don't know, Endrick? Did, did you guys watch him in the game against England? 60 million? Hendrick seems like a... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. The whole Hendrick thing seems so forced. But we'll see, man. I Obviously, I haven't watched him play a crazy amount. And he is still a child, for God's sake. I should probably save my commentary for when I watch him play fully. He's built like Hulk. Yeah, I, I maybe it's not fair. Maybe it's not fair. My, uh, my, my overall criticisms and thoughts. It's far too soon. All right, boys. We're like 30 seconds out from 6 p.m. content. I mean, it's Thursday, right? Let's see if I'm justified in taking a day off on Thursdays going forward. 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays are usually horrifically dead for content. So let's see. If I was off today, what type of content would I miss? I swear to God, man, whatever my day off is, EA always drops crazy content for literal years and years and years. Saturdays were the deadest days ever. I started taking Saturdays off three, four years ago, and all of a sudden EA started making Saturdays almost as good or better for content than Fridays. So let's see. I'm planning to go back to Wednesday or Thursdays off. Let's see what the 6 p.m. content looks like here from EA. Not that they give a flying F about me as a human. I just mean it's very crazy how... It always seems to be on my day off that some crazy content comes. I mean, honestly, Tarkov's event today as well is nuts, and normally it's my day off. So, new Evos? Probably not, because we got Evos yesterday, right? But let's see. Nope. 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 No new Evos. So what do we got? Seven days on this one. So, I think this is the one we're going to do next. Was it, is this the double? Yeah, this is the double weak foot. So you really want to be smart with this one. So Haidema's four star, three stars. So she'd go five star, five star. I think I was going to give it to her, wasn't I? I'd love to give it to Patty. Again, another card that would just be insane, but he's got the two. Okay, so anyways, we'll worry about that later. So no new Evos today. Objectives-wise, we'll go see what there is. We got a new Seasons Progress. Nobody cares about any of this. What do we got in the live section? Uh, Fuck Birthday Daily. Okay, another Completionist done. Daily Objective. A little bit more XP. Birthday cup, sav, okay, doesn't look like there's anything new in objectives. So nothing new in objectives, nothing new in evos. So the birthday login has refreshed. So again, I think I'm done the birthday login. So I probably will still do it because it gives you what, a, a what is it, an 81? 81 by 2 or something like that? What is it? It's still worth doing for a bronze. What is the content for today, boys? And will have I will I have missed out on content if I took today off? That is the question. So we got a refresh on the five PPs. We'll do those. We got a refresh on the eighty-four by fives. Got a refresh on the dailies and the silvers and the bronzes. I guess today is marquee match. Wait, is today actually only marquee matchups? Jumbo Premium Gold Player is not a bad pack. I love that there's no badges. That's so stupid. The packs aren't bad. I will say that. I still am not going to do it. I'd rather just do PPs. Okay, so marquee matchups are out. Another Arsenal player for Nep. Is that the content for today? Man, I swear to God, FC24 is all about Nepo. Look at this. 5-7, high medium, can play DM. Oh my lord. Press proven as well. Damn. Four star, five star. What a freaking card this is. With an anchor? I mean, you know Nep's going to complete this card. What, 88 rated or something like that? 87 rated? 85 rated, man. This is like a 40k card. Man, I wish Leeds could get some cards like this. That's ridiculous. The Leeds women, are, I think, are in like the third tier of women's football. So it's not like they would get it anyways. Okay, so hold on. We've had dead marquee matchups. And uh, what's her name? Leah Williamson? I think Thursdays are absolutely the day to take off for me, man. Tuesday to Thursday for sure are the day to take off. I don't think I'd miss out on anything if I took today off, guys. That is the biggest login, logout day I've ever seen in my life. Now, having said that, we will open an Encore Icon Pack. So let's do that. 
because we, as always, for 6 p.m. content, have a pretty big surge of people watching the stream. So let's go do that. I have one of these left. And I'm just going to open it, by the way. Um, oh, do we got a new loading screen? Hold on. Let's go do the... Uh, let's go have a look at the loading screen. I don't even know what's going on tomorrow. I, like, what the event itself is going to be. So... If it, imagine it is a hero and icon only event. The problem is this drop weight for icons. Maybe they'll do it like Trophy Titans where there's low rated ones that everyone will pack. And then the really high rated ones that'll be impossible to pack again. That could be cool. Oh, it probably is because the color looks the same as Trophy Titans if you think about it. Why do they rename everything? Why not just call it Trophy Titans again? Anyways, Galasso is the new name. But I wonder if it'll follow the same rules as Trophy Titans. I believe Trophy Titans was Heroes and Icons, right? Bro, what is happening, man? PC loads too quick. I can't see the freaking uh, loading screen. Please, I can see? I can see the loading screen, please. There it is. Yeah, look at that. Rename Trophy Titans, yeah? That's got to be what it is. So you've got... Wait, is that a Demitar Berbatov at, on the left side? 93 pace, center forward Dutch can't be Johan Cruyff, I don't think, right? Can that be Johan Cruyff, boys? Nah, there's no way they give us a Johan Cruyff. There's no chance. So, Golazo is just Trophy Titans renamed, right? That's got to be what it is. Dude, imagine they give me like an 88 rated Cruyff, baby Cruyff. Imagine they give me an 88 rated baby Johan that I can build over time. Wouldn't that be just an absolute eruption, guys? Wait, I don't follow that friendly guy? What is wrong with me, bro? Jeez. That's rude. Um, so that's Berbatov, Cruyff, and... Miroslav Klose? Is that what we're thinking? I'm I'm I I am I'm amped about that guys I can't lie I'm amped about that boys The mule again Close just had a card Oh Prince Yeah 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 you're right guys it's going to be Prince isn't it It's going to be Prince Yep Now nah, you're right you're right you're right it's going to be Prince Herba Tov, if they do his card justice, could be a vibe, man. If they do Dimitar's card, I know he's a Man United player, but whatever. We'll pretend he's a Bayer Leverkusen player, right? Or a Spurs player, I guess. I don't have to pretend like he's the Man United version of himself. Burba's a Burba's a beast. All right, Encore Pack. Give me a Cruyff, please. Or Team of the Year Chavi. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I have this shit bag. Come on, man. We're just talking about not wanting freaking idiot Man United players. What the hell is that? I've been sitting on this pack for like three weeks. Accidentally, by the way. I just It just disappeared into my store. Freaking, I'm going to put him in the Forex for sure. Such a terrible 86, man. Holy moly. Hey, man. Hello? Ricky! Where's Ricky? Ricky, oh my god, how many subs do we have? Amen. Ricky, thank you for the uh, 11 months, man. Pigs and Zombies, thank you for the 21 months. Uh, I appreciate you, dude. Liam, thank you for the 31 months. Amen. CNC, Ooh. thank you for the 105 months. Okay, I'll open these dead. We only have a few Amen. dead packs, and then we have like 4X packs and all that good stuff. Uh, Birdie Law, thank you for the 37. Lavmate, thank you for the 18 months of support. Amen. Much love, everyone. Jez Grande, thank you for the 41 months. Appreciate you. Mike Oxmall, thank you for the six-month resub. Leads blowing leads. Watch your damn mouth, but thank you for the 18-month resub. Appreciate you. Verder, 
77 Kappa, thank you for the eight month resub. Uh, Zanman, thank you for the 80 months. Hope you're well, bro, and hope you are still sucking. Prox Liberator, thank you for the nine. Amen. Much love. Don't get time to hang around here much anymore. Life gets in the way sometimes, yep. but happy to see you still killing it, brother. Thanks, man. Amen. Much love, hope dude. All is well. Much love, did it? Amen. Kill switch. Thank you for the 81 months as well. Amen. 80 months of subs to a pretty handsome moose rider. Let's go. Amen. Hey Siri, how do I take back a sub? Sounds like something a, a Juve fan would do. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Thanks for the sub! Jesus, why are you yelling at me? Roy Keen. Wait. Roy Keen just Amen. subbed to my channel? N28 to N28 oh my god, Canon gifted a sub to Roy Keen, dude. Jimmer, thank you for the 40. Die for a second. I'm like, how is that even possible? <laughs> wow. Alright, that I gotta I gotta give a little bit of credit. Amen. That's a good troll. Big five years, Habibi. Love you, Nikki. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate you, man. Hoggers. Amen. Hope all is well, Nick. I'd rather I'd rather Micah Richards sub to the channel if I'm honest. Or uh, what's that what's that lady's name? Um, she's a great pundit, but well, a pundit. She's a great presenter with those three degenerates. What's her name? Kate Abdo. I'd rather Kate Abdo sub to the channel. She's a goat. She's a hundred percent a goat. Can I return the Roy Keane sub and uh, and request a Kate Abdo Thanks sub? For the sub? Oh, Micah Richards just subbed to the channel. Well, there you go. Thank you, Canon. Fantastic. Now all we need is Kate Abdo, and we're living life. Then we're then we're really living life, boys. There we go. We get that entire uh, punditry panel. I think Thierry Henry is subbed to the channel already, so there we're good. Not Jamie. Uh, Jamie, I like Jamie's analysis, but I find him to be a bit douchey. I don't know, I do like Amen. Jamie though. I, I like Jamie Jamie's uh analysis. Yeah, I think I do. I mean who doesn't love Ian? Who doesn't love Ian Wright? Bottomless Bacon just got a gifted sub from an anonymous person. For the sub! And uh Jamie Carragher just got gifted a sub as well. Uh, yeah, I love righty. I mean, obviously he's very pro Arsenal, but you can't blame him, right? It is what it is. That comment about Kate was so bad, but you know what? Why I like Kate Abdo so much is that comment was completely unhinged, stupid, and idiotic. But that group together, as much as I find them cringy at times, they're just there to be dumb. They treat, the, he's treating her like one of the guys. He just said something stupid. And what I love is her presentation the next day. All the soft losers wanted her to cancel him and him to be fired. And she came out and was like, dude, we're like, they're like my brothers. They're gonna say something stupid. He said something dumb. That's fine. We're moving on with it. She's a goat for that, man. I will say that because that is how you hang out with a crew of idiot guys and you get equality and have people be part of a crew, whether you're a man, or a woman, a dog, a donkey, whether you're blue, you're white, whatever your color is. What she did there was gangster as hell, man. And I, I got nothing but love. I didn't even like that panel. I'm not gonna say, I I'm gonna be genuine. You guys know that. I told you guys many times that that group of four seems to just cringes me out too much. Like they, they try and just, they laugh so hard at their jokes. Like Micah Richards is so extra. Uh, Carragher, they all like break the table laughing at the most random jokes. That crew of four reminds me of the comedian, um, that guy with the weird mustache that on his podcast laughs harder at his own jokes than any guest, than any guest that does. What's that guy called? He's also very good. He does a lot of like pretty decent comedy, but his podcast is unbearable. What's that guy's name? I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, uh, not J Joe Rogan? No, 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 no. He's like from New York. Um, 
Andrew Schultz, thank you. It, they remind me of like a football presentation version of Andrew Schultz's podcast. It's just so cringe. Not Andrew Santino. Andrew Santino's a god, dude. I love that guy. No, no, no. Andrew Schultz. His podcast is like is just unbearable with how much they force laughs. I find that football punditry of Kate Abdo, or I used to find Thierry Henry, Jamie Carragher, Michael Richards, I found it to just be way too extra. But she, on her own, has completely sold me on that crew of just being silly, happy-go-lucky guys. Some of their interviews are great. But that whole thing that happened, I was ready because everyone in the public wanted her to basically cancel Carragher. I love what she did, and now I really like that show. I, I genuinely think she's a goat for that. I really do. And she's completely changed my opinion on that show. I actually enjoy it. And to be fair, Carragher's analysis is actually decent. I mean, again, he can be a bit of a douche, but it's a, it's a decent show, man. <clears throat> um, it's, it's, I, I, at least I think it's a decent show. I enjoy it quite a bit. 50% jokes, 40% commercials, 10% football talk. But you got to admit, the, the, the football talk is actually pretty cool. Like, Thierry Henry's analysis... Uh, outside of having that American twat on uh, that got Leeds relegated, I refuse to, his name shall not be mentioned, but anyways, uh, other than him, very often they'll have pundits on or ex-football players on, and their analysis is pretty cool. I do enjoy that. And there's a lot of, uh, I don't know if they do it anymore, but there's a lot of Carragher's Monday Night Football analysis that I enjoyed also. So, yeah. Anyways, not to go off on a rant, but I, I think Kate Abdo is a goat, man. She's everything that's good about football punditry and uh, women in football punditry. And she's so good at her job and she's hilarious and she deals with the dumb crap that the guys say so well. It's perfect, man. It's, it seriously is great. John Obi Mikel's podcast is decent. Oh, I didn't even know he had a podcast. That sounds awesome. I loved when Del Piero was on the show. Yup. Yup. Yup, for sure. Oh man, am I really discarding 14 players here? This is pain. Okay, yeah, I guess so. Did Archie Gray just get a gifted sub? Thanks for the sub! Harry... Kewl just got a sub, and Marcelo Bielsa just got a sub. Okay, hey, guys. <laughs> uh, Cannon and Jason and Jacko going ham with the gifts right now. Sub! Why do? Why am I so mad though? Can anyone explain that? Like, why? Why? Why is it such anger? Thanks Gary. Gary Neville getting a gifted sub from Jason. Ahmed, thank you for the sixty-nine, man. Appreciate you. Okay, let's Amen. do uh let's do a couple of peepees. Heart and 28 heart and 28 heart and 28 heart. I love this story. Oh! Let's do these. Yes, sir. Let's do these. Let's do these. Thanks for the sub. Jesus, Lord have mercy. It's so loud. Vetley, thank you for the gift of sub to Todd Bowley. Oh god. Maybe we're going to get a 100,000 bit donation from Todd. And all he's going to ask is advice on which players he should buy. That'd be great. Thanks for the sub! Tony Yaboa just got a gifted sub. <laughs> Canon, thank you. Appreciate that. Much love, much love. God, it's so aggressive with the thanks for the sub. I think I need to turn that volume down a little bit. It's actually annoying, isn't it? It's so loud. So loud, so angry. You'll be paid over eight years. I'm okay with that. I, I have financial security for the next eight years. Hell yeah. All right. First 83 plus. I guess I'll put him into the 84 by five, right? Yeah. Why not? What is happening right now? Financial fair play. 
Just got a gifted sub from Canon. What, like, what does that even mean? Thanks for the sub! Mark Viduka getting a gifted sub from Vetley. Let's go. Hell yeah, Mark Viduka, a goat. All right, so we're going through all the Leeds legends. I'm down. Uh, can we get a Vinnie Jones? Leeds legend and uh, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels and Snatch movie actor legend? If you don't know who Vinnie Jones is, you should probably punch yourself in the dick, by the way, because you're an uncultured swine. Vinnie Jones is a goat. Are we going to have a watch party for Leeds tomorrow? I think so, yeah. Uh, the game is at when? 8.30 tomorrow? Thanks for the sub! I think the game's at 8.30 tomorrow, right, guys? Rio Ferdinand get- wait, Rio Ferdinand isn't sub to the channel? That's offensive. Hey, I thought he was. Vetley, thank you very much, dude. You're a legend. You're a legend. Domo, thank you for the 90 with the primer. Thanks for the sub! Jack Harrison? Eh. Jack Harrison can go kick rocks. But anyways, Jason, thank you very much for the gifted. <clears throat> much love. Anyone watch Shogun? No, Thanks but apparently- Dude, my ears are bleeding! Ah, oh, Jesse Marsh getting a gifted sub! Gro oh my god, I almost got rid of, uh... Thanks for the sub! Okay, guys, my ears hurt. Thank you, Jacko, and, uh, Vetley, thank you. Mark Clattenburg getting a gifted sub. Why do these people have accounts on Twitch? Do they even watch Twitch? Rapino has been subbed to my channel for seven months, Jermaine. We criticized her out, like her just stupidity and her ego outside of football. Thanks and for the sub! she's been subbed for about seven months to my channel. I think she hates subs to me. It's hilarious. Um, Artem Zubia subbed to the channel. That's wild. Especially when he scores both goals as well. If only it was the real Rapino. It is. It is the real Rapino. I got a cease and desist letter from her uh, from her lawyers about uh, talking about how awful she is to her fans. I won't stop. All right, come on, second eighty three plus, bro. You you gotta be kidding, man. Three foot birthday Canadian strikers packed in the last twenty four hours. Not once is it Jonathan David. I am so mad I could spit. Oh my word. No, 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 no. We'll go to the exchange again. Does that mean I have to play a game? I mean, we get to use Wesley Schneider. That's a that's a that's a benefit, guys. We get to use King Wes. That's kind of a that's kind of a dub. Hey? I'm glad she... Rapino wasn't here when you said you're happy that Kate didn't cancel Carragher. She would have lost it. Oh, okay. So for, as an example as to why she's so horrible, put Rapino in Kate Abdo's position. R Rapino would have like gone on a hunger strike of how she was abused by Carragher and would, would have demanded Carragher got jail time for it. That is exactly my point. Yes, that's exactly why Abdo, Kate Abdo is a goat and Rapino can kick rocks. 100% bro. Absolutely 100%. Great point. Great point. Okay, let's go uh let's go get a game. A game for 86 Keen? <laughs> uh Wait, go to squad selector. Why? Oh, this guy. Oh my god. Where is Ronaldo, man? No wonder he's not playing well. He's not even on the pitch. Oh god, now there's two Ronaldos. Now there's three Ronaldos. I love that this is a glitch that still happens. Okay, if in this game Ronaldo is super clunky and heavy as well, I might have to sub on Big Sam. Hey, you know what? Let me just test Big Sam for a couple of games to just see. 
just to see. Um, do I, I, I do I even have an Australian manager? Not that she needs the uh, the boost in stats. Wait. No, I'm gonna go Canadian in that sense. Because if I go Canadian, then I think. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm even talking about. Apparently, a Canadian does nothing. Erupt! Big Ange got Fonzie on chem too. Nice. But, I mean, if we go with Big Ange, it means we're just never going to get a trophy ever again. Right, guys? How was Zeke yesterday? He was okay. Any way of getting Vieira in there? If I take off uh, Rude Hullet. We've used Rude Hullet for one game as an actual holding DM. Um, he's been sick, man. Hey, man. Dan Jones, thank you for the 41, brother. Appreciate you. God bless. Thank you, thank you. Like, what is this? This is a stream snipe, right? Who waits 20 seconds to click through a game, man? <sighs> Hello and a warm welcome to West Yorkshire. We're at Elland Road, a stadium first opened way back in 1897. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me... Holy mother of all that is holy, dude. West Ham United, he has all of that and still has Virgil van Dijk's gold card in the team. Is a foot rivals match on the menu. I feel like that'll tell us a lot about the style of play I'm about to deal with. We can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the... Group? And there it is! The opening goal! The ideal way to start! Wes! Oh my so sweet Jesus! Green yeah. time crossbody! You still got the buns on lock, I see. Much love. Oh my god, that's Ronaldo Vieira. Ah, sorry, my bad. Possession lost, intercepted. Oh, Sam Kerr. Snyder. Sam, how are you not giving me an op? Oh my god, Wesley with the pass. Oh my god! Wesley, that was the craziest pass I've ever seen in my life! Holy moly! No! We were cooking that god squad, dude! Jesus! The double tap dinked through ball, bro. Dude, look at that Wesley Schneider shot. Oh my god. I I know this is going to get the epi demonetized today, but I'm no joke. This UCL, UCL Schneider, I could absolutely print a picture of and fap to. And then honestly, in the background, on maybe my big screen TV, if I could have this goal in the background, I'd be able to probably set a record for fapping in 24 hours. Bro, that is probably one of the prettier... Just like pure football goals I've scored. One touch into space, three and a half bars of power, green time, crossbody, five-star weak foot. Suck me in the nuts. That's why I still play this game. That goal right there. No glitchiness, no cheese, just sick football. Playing them into space. That like That's why Ultimate Team is still a game I want to play. And then, this double tap through ball from... Oh! oh! Dude, look at this pass! Oh! Right through both defenders high pressing. Bro, again. Oh my god. Hey, AI defend that one, you nerd. <laughs> oh my god. That is exactly why I still play this game. Unfortunately, those two goals that you witnessed happen once every 40 games. So you get to play 39 games of wanting to cut your cock off in rage. To play one game like this, which only lasts six minutes. Oh. What. What a set of goals that was. What a set of goals. Ah, actually.
actually, I think we got Viera done, right? I think all I need to do is get the four assists with him, don't I? Wait, what? Win by two goals. Well, I mean, I guess I'll get that in the next uh, squad battle game. Okay, perfect. Bet Lee, thank you for the gifted sub to Fapping Satan. Cannon with a gifted sub to I am jerking off right now. I, well, now we're officially demonetized. Vet Lee gifted a sub to GG. Uh, Alex with the 61 months. Thank you, man. Dan Jones with the 41 months. Cannon gifting a sub to Ellen Road, the stadium. Unreal. <laughs> Well, the hope for having these episodes not demonetized is all but gone, boys. All but gone. TT is so bad in game. Like, genuinely so awful. It makes me depressed how bad Thierry Henry is in game. I'm going to use him again just because I refuse to believe he's not good. The first week that I used Thunderstruck Henry is the best striker in the game. Why three, four months later is he unplay unusable? I mean, I understand he's not fully meta, but unless you have perfect, crisp, four ping gameplay, this Thierry Henry is impossible to use. Why? I mean, honestly, same thing with Ronaldo. 91 Ronaldo was unplayable how good he was. He's impossible to use now unless it's clean gameplay. I just don't get it. Wow. Nice ping. We can put the chat in non sub mode. 6 p.m. content is done. Once we pass uh, me seeing 6 p.m. content, mods, if I forget, you can put it in non sub mode. I feel bad that the non subs can't type for a bit. It's just I don't want before 6 p.m. content the leakers to ruin anything, so. Yeah, I saw the loading screen and I tweeted it. I tweeted it up. Well, nights like these are just what you hope I did, I did. Yeah. Oh, Timo Werner? Oh god, and Chumeni at center back. Oh my goodness. Wait, this guy has the leads away kits? Oh shit, okay. Oh, I'm already cooked. That's already a goal. I don't know how he didn't score that big save, Edwin. How has Sawa intercepted that, man? Nice re. Good block. A lot of pressure the first two minutes. What is happening? Oh, my lord. Can I ask why... Attackers that have never pressed in their life are so good at high pressing. Just by clicking one button, man. So stupid. Five minutes of having 15 players just putting their peepees up my butt. I literally can't do anything because this guy's AI is so broken. What is this? Oh my god, man. Look at his team. Four players pressing everywhere all the time. Oh 
Ismail Kone. And on to Snyder. Snyder able to close down the shot. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Paolo Maldini. Now Jordi Alba. Maldini. They really look after the ball when they have it. Being edged on by the crowd. Okay, this guy just shoots from everywhere. So, how of all people does Jordi Alba read that pass before I make it instead of the on-running Somerville, who is sprinting into that gap? You play the pass and Somerville stops running. A real attacking intent shown by the old boys. Well, they couldn't keep it. And the goal kick will be next. Fridolina Rolfo. Werner. And the defensive intervention there. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Lost into the penalty area. Okay. Vandersar just broke his neck. Poor guy. Dear God. I can't. I just can't bother with this shit, man. I just can't. Look at my look at my center back making a tackle. He literally falls over while trying to make a tackle. But my guy's Werner makes a tackle and immediately intercepts the play, and he's on his way. Thierry Henry is the worst, the worst. But again, it's because this game is very heavy and delayed and terrible, so he's just unusable, unfortunately. Let's see how lethargic he was trying to take that shot. It's like he's he's the Tin Man. No fluidity, no intelligence and movement. Just watch Sam Cook now. I might not score and I might still lose the game, but just watch in terms of how um, Big Sam plays. There you go. Big Sam gets an assist within four seconds because she receives the ball and can make a pass quickly. Awesome. Well, he's given us away. Authoritative attacking play from Dybala this time. That's my fault. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Timo Werner. Nice. Foul. Just so many mistakes. Constantly getting the ball back is so stupid. Jordi Alba. Fridolina Rolfo. Dybala. And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. How are they losing this one? They've done really well in terms of their approach play, yet their finishing just hasn't been good enough. Just look at those stats. First things first, they need possession of the ball. Good ball over the top. Must be! And a goal! Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, we're doing better now with uh, Sam on the field. Big Sam cooking. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Snyder. Real he moved the keeper there. Maybe I shoot near post. I don't know. Or maybe I have to green time that. Trying to pick out a teammate. Wow. And a simple clearance, a good one. And very nicely positioned to win it back. Sawa. Nice tackle. They've thwarted the opportunity. 
Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and the visitors are prospering. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, they've dominated this first half. Their approach play, their clever... Can they slot at home? Well, thank goodness for the goal. I read time that, unfortunately. You seeing how good Sam Kerr is, though, in comparison to Henri? Just because she has the right build. This game is so dumb, man. And by the way, taller strikers like Henri, Ronaldo, quite a few other players were very usable up until... That's a goal. Nice. We're very usable up until this latest stupid patch that's just made the game a one-dimensional pile of shite. I mean, 86 Ronaldo we used for the first month and a half of the game. The game had its problems, but you could still use players like that. Bosa still rocks, in my opinion. Again, you might also be lucky enough to play in really clean gameplay every game. Uh, Ronaldo rocks as well. But I have to be in crispy, like, sub-10 ping gameplay. If I can play in 7 ping or 8 ping gameplay, Ronaldo and Henri are lights out. But I just don't get those games, man. I, I, pretty much ever. Game can still be fun. More likely your tactics and style of play. Absolutely, man. Yep. My style of play is why uh, my players move around like they're stuck in mud. And when I create an open chance, my player takes three seconds to release a shot. It's definitely my tactics and style of play. Yep. Given acres of space to attack here. Has someone to play it to. Thwarting him. Well read to yeah, Definitely my, my style of play that's putting 15 players for him behind the ball. Oh, she's given it away. Looking for someone to play it to. Oh, yep. Yes. <clears throat> it's gone in. Absolutely. Canadian. Uh, Hullet is cooking. Well, beating his opponent. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. An advantage coming into play. What a ball. Oh, she's in a really promising position. Sex. He dragged the keeper out of position, man. I was really, 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 really hoping that I'd be able to get a little uh, chip in there. If I green time that, maybe? I mean, you know, it's team of the year uh, Sam Kerr with 99 finishing, right? And uh, I think a chip play style. So shame on me for doing a one and a half bar chip from that position with the keeper out of position. I should have green timed it to score. Somerville's shooting is so, so juicy. Just over the top in the end, but the idea was good. Well, good effort, you have to say. Uh, have have I point. used Birthday Swanson? I don't know, honestly. Sawa. Wow. Another big mistake, but passes it through the player. The verdict is like right here. Okay, you know what? That's my fault. He's made a mistake, though. He wins the ball back. Another mistake, and the ball phases out of bounds for him. Ay, such odd gameplay, man. Such odd gameplay, only benefiting one person. Nice tackle. Love that. Hullet is insane, man. Unlucky. We went for it. I had a sweat there, but you know what, man? I just... Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Snyder. What in God's name? 
Camp. <laughs> Dude. Can anyone tell me why I never use this Hullet as a DM? What the hell? He's so cracked. Okay. Oh my god. Big Sam. Oh, that's a really good run. Well, she has cause to be grateful to her teammate. Snyder. Now here's Kerr. Can they do something positive? Look at him! He's a freight train! <laughs> Hugo Sanchez. It's with Joao Cancelo. Well, he has the measure of his man. Good defending in the end. Ah, that's my fault. Is the crowd encouraging him to take it on? Takes the shot. And danger Easy. Still. Yeah, that's logic. Hugo Sanchez, brilliantly blocked. Now just the tackle that was needed. Sad state of affairs that this game is in. Got it. Oh my god. Now room to roam on the wing for the old boys. Oh. Oh no, too many is too cracked. That was sick from uh Georgie Rutera though. I uh unlucky. Sawa. Nice. Of course you get the ball back. Of course you do. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Of course you do. Hugo Sanchez. Nice tackle. Nicely timed tackle. Ismael Kone. Excellent vision. Really what? good build up, but no end product. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack. Hugo Sanchez. That should be a pen. I didn't touch the ball there. I should have touched the ball. The, the It was more the animation that was idiotic than anything I did wrong, but uh, it's still, that should be a pen. Oh, good play, this. Very oddly heavy pass, even though it was a half bar of power. Another foul, no, not called. Look at this, man. Like, what is this, dude? What have they done to this game? Every tackle, every interception just bounces back to your opponent worse than it ever has. Like, again, because pure RNG. This guy's losing, so every time he fucks up, the game still says, hey, man, just get 17 bounce backs. It's fine. Clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. It's my fault. God, Wesley's passing is insane. She's made a really good intervention there. Now, Honestly, at this point in the game, if you use Sawa, I, I don't like you on a fundamental human level. Jordi Alba. If you're still someone that spams Sawa, you, you have erectile issues. You have penile issues. From that position. I, I, I seriously and truly believe that, man. And so the referee blows you can have like 75 different top tier DMs, and if you're still running broken ass Sawa, you have a pencil penis. And that's fine. And that's fine. I have one anyway. Dude, Luke. I what I just said there, I just cooked. Maybe not cooked, but I offended probably 95% of my viewer base. <laughs> I guarantee you if everyone in the chat, even the, the ones that are laughing in the chat, if we phased into looking at their team, there's a fucking team of the Urasawa there. I <laughs> I know there is. Because in a hundred percent of my champs games and playoff games every week have Werner Sawa Kafu in them. It is not even a question. It's not even ninety nine percent. It's one hundred percent.
Oh yeah, are we meant to do those, uh, to finish those 83 pluses? What did we get here? Nice, nice. I have all three of them. You know what, man? I had to stop my insanity because I, I also started running Kafu again. I'm like, bro, what am I doing, man? I've got the Canadian Kafu, who's almost as good. I've got an 88 Shackleton. Like, why am I running Kafu, bro? I'm I'm a fraud. I'm sitting here, sitting here roasting people that have boring players in their team, and I'm doing the same thing. Uh, my midfield three is Fantasy, Toure, Team of the Year, Lam, and Team of the Year, Chavi. Colin, the funny thing is, it's probably better. All three of those players are probably better than Sawa. That's the funniest part. Wouldn't you, um, wouldn't you agree that there's at least a hundred cards that are as good as that Sawa? Cards are hard to pack. I mean, what about cards that you can build? I mean, my, my 87 Archie Grey that I've had since October, I can still ball out within the midfield. My Canadian Hullet is an objective player that's good enough or as damn near as good as Sawa. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with those sentiments, man. The excuse people run the same boring players is because players are hard to pack. I don't know. I'm not denying that players aren't hard to pack. No, they 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 are hard. They are hard and they are annoying to pack for sure. But how is birthday Gyoro, uh, Grant? I hope she's good. It's F SBC FC this year? Yeah, but it's not, though. You can buy a player for dirt cheap and evil them, too, if you want. You're, you're talking as a pack addict. But 99% of the top tier midfielders that you can buy are like 30k. May I ask what the debate is about? Nothing. We're just yapping. The usual. I'm trying to tilt my chat and my chat disagrees with me. It's the same thing as usual. Nothing new. If you're good, you have so many options. But the thing is, is if you're not good, you have so many Thanks options. It makes me uh, sad that people think they can only do well if they have Kafu and Sawa and Werner. Oh, come on! For the love of God! I just want Jonathan David! I did the exchange! Four Larens in one day is outrageous, EA Sports. Just one Johnny D. Please, man. Just one. What is this? The funny thing is, Laren's not terrible. Again, in clean gameplay, he's pretty a pretty devastating card, but you just have to hope to God you have clean gameplay. Otherwise, he feels like a truck on the pitch. So now that I've packed four Larens, I can definitely pack uh, Johnny D, right? Right? Ding, ding. Zwei asked who my club legend is, so I'm going to reply with this picture, chat. Chat, you better all favorite 
my reply to Zwei, okay? And reply saying, wow, Nick has so much better footballing culture than Zwei does. That better be the reply. Okay, guys? Um... There we go. <clears throat> Zway greater than Nick? No, you don't reply with that. Come on now. How many games does he have with his uh, Basha? Do I have more games with my Archie Gray than he has with his stupid uh, Basha? No. We're close, though. I have more goals and assists, though, don't I? Zway has 500 assists with Basha? How many crosses does he do a game, man? What the f- He has 500 assists with his left back? How is that possible? That makes me want to throw up, dude. That is the most disgusting stat I've seen in my life. What? No way that's real. He has 500 assists with a left back. I want to throw up. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means to the meta and how you can score in this game? How brainless you have to be? God bless. For how many assists he have, I, I has, I want to know how many cross attempts Basha has. I bet you anything, Basha has 7,000 crosses on those games played. I, I, I bet. I bet... In those games played, Basha has 7,000 crosses minimum. <laughs> Dude, I remember one game watching Zwei, I had to turn his stream off because I was getting so mad. I I'm pretty sure I counted 93 crosses attempted in one game. I can't, I can't. It gives me heart palpitations, man, watching that play style. I, it just makes me so, it makes me so unreasonably mad. Oh man, I'm too old to watch that style of FIFA. Zway is too young and hip with it, clearly, at 47 years old. 500 assists from 800 games at left back. That's crazy, dude. That might be the most nuts stats I've ever seen. Fair play, Zway. That's cracked. Zway is how old? Well, he might not be 47. He might be 48 or 49. I don't know. He's there or thereabouts. Zwei was a grandpa before Basha was born? Well, I don't know about that. Zwei might be Basha's grandpa, to be fair. Okay, Laren, please. I don't want you again. No, does that mean gameplay? I don't want to play more gameplay. I want to do the Tarkov event. Who the hell is that even? She's so cheap. I don't want to play another game. Uh. Fine. Fine, did it. Wait, what's happening? Oh. So what do we put her at? Left striker? She looks alright. Damn, she actually looks better than alright. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
terrible rule, Leslie. I hate it so much. <laughs> what if I pack a center back? Yeah, she might be the perfect left wing. TBH, to be honest. I'm hungry, guys. I haven't eaten today. I'm starving. And I feel like I have to take a violent diarrhea. Wow. Kieran just packed a freaking Frankie card. What's that about? What the hell? I just got a picture from a viewer in first class who's doing the bronze pack method in first class. Brother, you are living such a higher level of life than me. It's crazy. <laughs> GG's. My man's doing the BPM in first class. Good. Oh, wow. That's a terrible connection. But I mean, those two things seem like an oxymoron. Why is my man doing BPM in first class? You're in for you don't need BPM. Hey, if you're in first class, you have so many things going well for you that BPM should be the last thing you're doing. Right? Am I right in saying that? Or maybe the reason maybe the reason he's in first class is because he does the BPM. Now that that's something to think about. That's some food for thought for you. That's some food for thought. Here we go. A warm welcome to you and thanks for joining us for another game live on EA TV. My name's Guy Mowbray, delighted to be joined by Sue Smith for Why am I playing so many gold Virgils nowadays? Oh, look at that stupid Keen. I'm going to slide tackle that Keen with uh with my Canadian Hullet. I could slide tackle that Keen with Hullet too, I suppose. Oh my days. Oh god, that dribbling was so delayed. Here's the lineup for the Queens. Gianluigi Donnarumma is in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Here we go. Fabio Cannavaro in the center back position. Pen! Dude! What? How is that not a pen? Oh! What on earth? What in the hell? And they've got it back now. I don't know. I don't know what to do when I get pressed from every angle. Kind of like that. Hey, man. Kiss me. I, I don't want to. I'm too stressed. I don't know how to do a kiss while I'm stressed. Perfectly anticipated. Really well won. I love that Wesley drops deep in my nuts there. Driven into the box. Well, it was and he just good. did not commit to a tackle there. That's too bad. I was too cocky. I was expecting him to lunge and then me to just vo a move of real promise developing. Dude, my... Um, hey, bro. I mean, Is that not a... Do, a, a am I imagining things? Is that not a pen? He literally gripped Schneider's penis and ripped him to the ground with his cock. How? How is that not a pen? What? Something different from the corner. Politano. Nice Brother, Six it's March, ended. man. You have an actual sick team and you're still R1 byline cheesing. Are we for real here? Allowed to go a long way with this, but not the end result they wanted from an encouraging position. Sariegi. 
Amaya Sariegi. What is her dribbling, though? Oh my god, dude. Why do I use anyone other than Sam Kerr, dude? She's... What a disgrace that I haven't used her card since Team of the Year, man. Seriously, she is so goddamn good. It makes me mad at myself that I haven't used her very much. Bro oh, that deserved a goal. Come on, you dead... Oh my god, you deadbeat game. Coming from their play in the end. Well, if that went in, the game would have definitely had a different complexion. Just wondering if we're going to see a response now. We certainly need one. Ah, that's my fault. It's a bad pass. Ah, oh, unlucky. No worries. This guy's still just playing the byline game. Unreal. The old boy's regaining possession. Quicker! Quicker! Cross the line, it'll be a throw in. Nice pass. That's a beautiful pass. Genuine chance. Big save. Oh, Sam Kerr's movement is crazy. Oh, but he turned off his console. Nice. W. She's so good, it's nuts. <laughs> Grab his dick and twist it! Yeah, my man, legit, I got this guy to turn off his console and probably go do yard work. <laughs> He's like, I can't handle this game, man. Get me off this stupid crap. Get me out of here. I love the instant replay, man. I didn't even know that was a thing. God, top net, best net, right, Japes? Top net, best net. Look at this. Dude, the, the way she hits the ball. She has her own custom animation. She's so cracked. I'm sure she's um I'm sure she's probably not expensive anymore either, right? Four objectives completed. Okay. She's still 900k? Well, no wonder. Honestly. I can't believe I packed her from a free pack, dude. Day one of Team of the Year. And then we proceeded to open another 5,000 packs and didn't get anything. But, whatever. At least we got her. Yeah, like, shame on me I haven't used this card much in the last 2-3 months. So, so good. So good. How much is this Chris nowadays? I wonder if he's plummeted in price since EA made him bad. This card has dropped 3 million coins in value? He used to go for 4 mil. Uh, like a month ago. Man, I don't make this stuff up. I mean, the, the market as well reflects my thoughts on these cards. He's in packs? Wait, he's in packs right now? Oh, okay, okay, all right. I was gonna say, dude, a 300% a drop in price is a bit crazy. Again, he's still very good, but you now only, I find him extremely OP in clean gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. What? No, I actually did finish three items. What the heck? Four items, even. Sweet. 80 by 10. Not bad, I, I suppose. Wait, what? There's more? What is this? Oh, okay, cool. We got that all done. Is that the uh, the women's league? I think it is. All right, let's uh, finish the final two. The final 83 PP.
Do I think informs will go back up to 40k? Probably, yeah. I think so. They usually do. It's just right now there aren't repetitive good SBC packs. So like when we get three 83 by 10 packs back, which need informs each time, um, as a repetitive thing, that's probably when the prices will go back up. Repeatable Icon PPs, uh, Icon Encore repeatable again, right, with the inform requirement in, in one or two of the teams. That type of stuff is usually what causes a big shift upwards tick in price of informs. All right, I think this is the final one. Well, <clears throat> fun day today. Unfortunately, we did pack a Fut Birthday Canadian Striker, and we packed a Canadian Striker that's a Fut Birthday four times, but unfortunately not a Jonathan David. Which, tomorrow, if I can grind. See, the question is, I was planning on doing a heavy grind tonight, like rinsing all my 85s to 89s into 4x, crafting 50 PPs, but I was thinking of saving it all for the new event, for 6pm content and the new event. What do you guys think? Or should we do open all of that for the buzzer beater Jonathan Davies packs? Uh, Jonathan Davies. It's Alfonso Davies and Jonathan David combined into one player. What do you guys think? I kind of would like to just have a huge war chest of packs ready for the new event. I thought that could be kind of fun. We ain't packing Golasso promo cards. You never know, man. Last year, I packed some top tier uh, Trophy Titan icons. Your luck is in, your luck is in, right? I know, it sucks that I'm going to miss out on Jonathan David, but... It's not like I don't have a god tier striker, right? If I didn't have a team of the year Sam Kerr or a, a, a winter wildcard Ronaldo or a Thunderstruck Henri or, or any other number of guys, I, I'd be probably more concerned about packing Jonathan David, but... I agree, Bertucci, I agree. Make an exception and go buy him. No, I allow myself to buy Canadians and uh, and Leeds players. I guess it just depends on how expensive he is, right? Like, if he's 400k, do I want to spend all my coins on that Jonathan David? Probably not, right? Yeah, if Jonathan David's four or 500k, I think that would be stupid. Is there any current team of the weeks? I think this guy is a current team of the week, right? Good content or non-tent today? Oh, full, fully non-tent today, Marcus. Fully non-tent, brother. 400k, lol. Is he actually 400k? Ah, that sucks. I mean, it goes to show how good he is, though. That guy in Rivals cooked me with him. Closer to 50, 60k. Okay, hold on. I, who am I trusting here? He's 60k? Is he actually? Well then, I think we have our answer, guys. I think we have our answer then. And then maybe we use him tomorrow in champs. What do you think? We can play the first two hours of champs. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing right now, honestly. I'm just yapping. Just yippity yapping. Um.
hate the name Ultimate Birthday. It should just be called Fut Birthday. So stupid. Wow. What? Hey man, chat was not... Did I just buy him for 50,000 coins, pack pulled fresh? Why did I spend my whole week trying to pack this card? 50k? For this? Bro, with an engine, this card is insane. I mean, I will admit that maybe the first touch is a bit crap. Would have been better maybe if they gave him Rapid or Tech or something along those lines. But he's got Travella Plus, that's kind of nuts. Maybe even like Finesse would have been cool. His dynamic image kind of sucks though. I like the dynamic image on his RTTK more. This dynamic image really just does him dirty in terms of his hairline. Okay, so for champs tomorrow, this is what we're going to run, guys. What do you guys think? And then with an engine... And then I'll bring, I'll bring, if Ruter feels super clunky, I'll bring on Leo. Dude, can you fix this, you absolute morons in Burnaby? Like, what are you doing, guys? 84 balance, 87 agility, 94 dribbling. Part of me thinks because his pace is so good, maybe I should just give him a finisher. Maybe we give him a finisher, huh? I don't know. Also, how is it possible that I do not get five... Or three chem with the Canadians? If I go with the Canadian manager now, does it work? I think now it would work with the Canadian manager, right? Yep. Canadian manager fixes it. There we go. That's what's up. That's what's up, boys. That team is hot, man. That team makes me want to erupt. I'm sure it'll play terribly, but whatever. David, Schneider, Ruter, Somerville, Ikone, Hullet, Johnson, Davies. Yeah, I love it. Where is my Amazon Prime sub renew? I haven't been subbed for five days. It should have been renewed already. Uh, it is. They Twitch are really annoying with these changes they've made. They've hidden Prime resubs. You need to actually click, like refresh the page, click the resubscribe button, and then it's like you need to upgrade your sub. But you don't need to upgrade your sub. But you need to click upgrade your sub, and the Prime resub is in there. Dude, I've lost like 300 subs because people don't know how to Prime resub for free anymore. It's so stupid. But uh, hopefully that explanation helps you out, man. People are, my, my longtime subs are getting smashed with ads right now because they can't sub for free. Because they can't find where to do it. Okay, I'm going to end with one pack, boys. I'm going to end with a 51 player pack. It's a tick box now. It's super annoying. Yeah, it's really weird. Really, really, really weird. Bro, 14 dupes. I can't bring myself to discard 14 dupes. Boys, I'm going to call it there. I'm going to put all these dupes into upgrades. I have a bunch of dupes on the trade pile. I'm going to put into upgrades. Tomorrow, my friends. Tomorrow, I hope you guys are excited for the new event. The Galasso event begins. 
We are okay. going to use this team in gameplay, guys. We're going to use this team in gameplay in champs tomorrow. Um... So I can't wait to do that. Can't wait to continue to use Schneider. Can't wait to continue to use Somerville. Can't wait to continue to test Hullet as an actual DM. And obviously can't wait to test out Jonathan David at Striker. We're going to craft 50 player pick packs. We're going to rinse the whole club from 85s to 89s uh, into the Forex. We are going to um, probably finish up, maybe even completely finish up Ronaldo Vieira as well. And uh, then we'll kind of be open and ready to go for new Evos that are most likely going to be dropping tomorrow. So I can't wait for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. And we'll catch you on the flip side then. Peace.